The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. All right, Mr. Wonderland. Hey there. How's it going, man? I hear you loud and clear. Good connection. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, thanks to a fellow libertarian from this uh, Rogers campground. Fantastic. So you're at Rogers right now. Exactly. Now, is is this your first time there? First time at Porkfest? Uh, first time at Porkfest, but not the first time for Porkfest. Last year was my first time at Porkfest. Okay. Yeah, if you want to tell tell everybody what uh, what Forkfest is, um, I think a lot of people probably don't know. Yeah, basically, it's uh, just a libertarians doing libertarian stuff. Um, fork, uh, Porkfest wasn't like free enough. Uh, so they just forked the idea um, and created another fest just like Porkfest, but without uh, rules and anything, just people coming together. And yeah, that's basically it. Very cool. Well, yeah, what, what made you uh, come out for that one? It's that's a lot. It's like two two weeks, so it's a week of fork fest and a week of pork fest. I could barely yeah. handle like four days of pork fest. I love <laughs> it, but it's like after four days, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get get back to uh, yeah. I don't know, I see that... get back to a shower. Yeah, um, I mean, we have pretty okay showers for camping. I have to say, <laughs> um, and at the moment we are staying in the motel um, for now. But uh, okay, I'll, I'll be staying in the motel as well. Yeah, okay. These are pretty nice. Uh, depending on which you're in, currently one of the motels uh, don't have like warm water and the air conditioning is not so re not really working, but yeah. Oh, uh, which one? The, the motel uh, on site? Yeah, yeah. There are like two motel buildings and one of yeah. the buildings have uh, has problems with the uh, air conditioning and the uh, warm water. Oh, okay. I've actually never stayed in the motel on site. I stay okay. in like the hotel off. That must okay. be fun though. Yeah. That must yeah. be fun sitting right there. You got the pool right there as yeah. well, and like, yeah, uh, which <laughs> didn't uh, which didn't function last year, but yeah, it, that's just well, just campground. Um, yeah. Uh, so what well, was the question again? Yeah, I mean, uh, Rogers Campground really wasn't built for, for yeah. you know, the, the infrastructure wasn't built with these type of events in mind, right? It was yeah. meant to just be like kind of a yeah, yeah exactly. a holiday campsite. Oh, oh yeah, right. Um, why uh, Fork and Pork Fest this year? Um, Last year, Porkfest was so amazing, and um, we also like stayed. I um, went with another German friend here, and we stayed for like three weeks, and met a bunch of libertarians. It was just so mind blowing, especially like for a German that barely knows any libertarians in real life, and then like being surrounded by like three thousand three hundred libertarians. It's just yeah, unfathomable. Um, and um yeah that made us like come to a, a fork fest this year too because a bunch of people uh, we met last year won't be coming to pork fest this year but they are coming for pork fest so we thought okay maybe just grab both of those and yeah just see what it is about fantastic man yeah no i i that's the best part right is the environment being surrounded by yeah uh, all these like-minded, open-minded individuals. It's just amazing conversations yeah. and interactions. Yeah. Also, like being able to pay for your food with like uh, gold bags and also Monero is just a, yeah, it's a really nice feeling. I'm getting a message here. Hi, Douglas. I'm the guy from the supermarket. Remember me? In a few hours, I have something very interesting to show the community. All right. I think this is the guy from Argentina, oh. from the supermarket in Buenos Aires that we got to add Monero. I oh, think yeah. that's who that is. So he's got some potentially some breaking news here on Monerotopia if he jumps up later. Okay. We'll see what that's all about. Very cool. Uh, also, uh, I, I already talked ahead. to one of the vendors uh, about XMR mm. Bazaar. And um, Fantastic. yeah, so I'm already like trying to uh, promote Monero, but really like a, a lot of vendors I know about already accept Monero. So yeah, the, that's the what chance. really drove me to Porkfest the first time, I guess it was like four years ago now. I don't even yeah. remember the first time I went. Um, I needed to see, are people there aware of Monero or they're using Monero? Because I'm like, if not, 
then you know there's there's a problem. But sure enough, when I showed up, Monero was one of one of the cryptos that was accepted among the Porkfest crowd. So that's always been a very strong sign for me that you know the, the libertarians that really are into using this stuff for purposes of the medium of exchange yeah have arrived at monero yeah for sure i mean they yeah. still use use a bunch of like uh Bitcoin cash and dash also yes uh, i don't know why <laughs> like it's it just that, that shows you how sticky this stuff is right never so like uh, you know the early day in the earlier days when dash first came out it had a strong presence there at at pork fest uh, I forget the Dash girl, what her name was, uh, Amanda, Amanda B or something. I don't know if you remember her from back in the day. She no, was like no, the no. dad. She was like when Dash first came on the scene, she was, you know, like kind of the Monero talk of, of Dash, but always okay. out there spreading it really. She yeah. would go to Porkfest quite a bit and she okay. she spread it there. Zcash as well had like a large movement in the in the oh, early yeah. days. So there's still remnants of that, but mm -hmm. Monero, I just feel like is just slowly organically spreading because everybody's yeah. just like, oh yeah, of course I'll accept Monero too. They might be, you know, a a Dash person from the early days or a Zcasher, but they're not going to say no to Monero, right? At yeah, this point. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nobody, yeah. nobody's, nobody's really. Uh, there's no no real anti Monero because there's no reason to be. They're like, sure, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take untraceable cash. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's yeah. just uh, all about the like cash aspect and getting away from like dirty fiat. So yeah, yeah. Also, so yeah. so what do you think? Uh, what do you think of our plan? Right. So my thinking is, we did. Did you scope out our spot? I think it's a pretty pretty well strategically placed spot, right? Spot number yeah. six. Exactly. Yeah. Um, maybe you can start. You know, you. You could start setting up there whenever you want, you know, uh, by just start slowly setting it up. Uh, I, I'm not going to get there until Thursday morning, but yeah, if you could start setting up beforehand, I can maybe even have the coffee shipped to yeah. you. Although that um, probably isn't going to do much for us because you don't have a no. means of making it. The machine I'll be bringing with me. I'll bring the espresso yeah. machine. Yeah. Um, um, but we could try to get the stickers shipped to you. Yeah. Um, the pamphlets. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I have these, um, like the normal Monero stickers, uh, a few hundred with me. Um, okay. Um, so I would probably just uh, go and uh, um, give them out to the vendors for now until they have like the really perfect uh, Monero accepted stickers. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm talking about like this one and also Beautiful. like the gold golden version of this. Like, yeah. Just nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. You so, came prepared. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, I mean, yeah, we get be before I knew about like uh, that you were going to be attending and um, want to like push the Monero adoption a little bit. This was also my plan, kind of, as I already like did it last year. Um, as there are, there were a, a bunch of people that accepted Monero in the years prior, but their like apps they uh, used didn't uh, st stop the supporting Monero. It was, uh, it was, I don't know even what the app was called, something propriet uh, proprietary. And so I onboarded them to Cake Wallet. And, uh, nice. Yeah. yeah, bought a bunch of stuff with the uh, Monero, so. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I know people were using like over there, like Jack, remember Jack's Wallet? I think that was like one of the popular ones or. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's funny uh, you come across yeah exactly. go ahead um and about the i already like have one person that um said he can lend us a tent so okay. i can start like kind of early building stuff up um i also ask for people Perfect. that are that maybe want to volunteer at the tent also there i already got contacted by like two people one is arriving at monday so yeah nice he's definitely gonna like try starting uh, start the hub early on monday so Fantastic, man. Yeah, Fantastic. Exactly. Yeah, if you could, could, could you create the hub for us on Porkfest? Because I, uh, I, yeah, sure. I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and you, you know, list it and then put it on the map as, as slot six. Because I, if I need to send you proof or something that I, I don't know yeah, how they're um, doing it, but yeah, I, I, like I already like uh, helped one other fellow libertarian out, um, because, um, yeah, he didn't, uh, 
it wouldn't be let in into his room because it was like pay, uh, booked from a mate of his who was arriving later and so on. Uh, so we already like talked to one of the organizers of Borgfest and so I just hook up there and um, see what kind of like proof they want so I can like put this on the map soon. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. See if you, see if you could do that, do that today and then we'll, you know, we'll sure. tweet it out. And then also, I think I want to add like a workshop every day. Mm -hmm. So start, we'll do it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, obviously if you want to start beforehand, but I think okay, that's true. Sure. I won't get there till then. So like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we could do mm -hmm. a workshop. We could pick a good time, whatever you think is a good, good time mm -hmm. of day. I would do yeah. like, put it, put it on the official calendar. Mm -hmm. So people know yeah. to stop by whatever at 1 PM, uh, you know, on sure. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. But yeah. We maybe want to, I'm maybe going to check the, uh, schedule and maybe see if there are any like competing things or what would be like, maybe a good time to do this workshop yeah what okay a, cool what do you want to do um or what kind of workshop do you want to do i was thinking mind? like a, Mon a monero 101 i sent i sent a quick breakdown in the chat mm -hmm. of what i was just thinking offhand you know like literally what is monero okay. um why monero why monero matters right why monero is okay. different how to how to obtain how to obtain monero how to use Monero, how to use okay, Monero yeah. as a, as a, as a merchant, whether online or in person, mm -hmm. uh, just the real basics of somebody who's like, okay, why does Monero even matter? They get it. Okay. I'm interested. Now, how do I start interacting with it? You know, the wallets okay. to download, just the basic spiel that I basically okay, yeah. have with every single noob as I'm drinking <laughs> coffee with them, but now yeah. just do it collectively to yeah, a group. Okay. okay so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably yeah. I, yeah. I can probably improvise something like this. Yeah. I mean, I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I talk you can about this all the time. And yeah, the, my if you want to wait, yeah, you could wait till Thursday and then we'll kick off the first, maybe we'll get a decent group there. Um, yeah. But yeah, however you want to do it. But yeah, yeah if you sure. put it in the, put it in the schedule, at least for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Okay. And if you yeah. get that up, that'd be That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Going to look at that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then, then the map, we got to get the map going. I guess I'll look into printing it. And bringing yeah. that up there, unless you have any ideas. Yeah, um, I asked uh, Ed Rogers, and we can like print. I think um, the the standard size uh, A4. I I don't know if that's uh, international and it applies to American also. Um, I only know the like the European sizes, so uh, okay. the standard size we can print here for like twenty five cents per per sheet. Oh, um, and you tape them all together. Yeah, that would be an idea. Big... Um, okay. I yeah, I'm also like thinking about what, uh, where do we like want to take them to? So maybe I'm, I'm going to talk to someone and we head out to the nearest town and maybe see if we can get a billboard or something, something cheap from like Walmart. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like, like poster board too would be, yeah, we'd be good. Cause instead of a whiteboard, maybe like just big, um, you know, something we can write on and tear the pages off like yeah you know, oh yeah 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 right yeah yeah Maybe yeah something like that yeah i'll, I'll grab that stuff if you can't but I, I but i won't get up there till thursday with it okay yeah you gotta improvise exactly yeah. i mean i have a monero flag with me just a really basic one i um got donated by a fellow german libertarian or a yeah. monero enthusiast at one of the uh, monero meetups from alex anarcho in uh, germany in offenbach okay very and, cool um, so at least we have that to like mark our spot and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna tape, tape all the uh, Monero stickers all, all, all over it. So yeah. Um, awesome, man. I think that the map is going to be fun. It's going to be impactful because yeah. people will see all the little Monero sticker, all the different vendors that are accepting. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really hope like we can get like pretty much every vendor. So yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't like check every vendor last year, but most of them already like accepted them yeah and yeah also i need to shill one of the um or promote one of the um stands or like the vendors that already accepts monero uh, he's uh, like daniel from the chapatis really great indian food um, oh yeah yeah he's a big yeah. monero guy him and exactly. his wife is that a oh, couple that does it right yeah exactly exactly yeah, yeah. and um yeah really great guy big monero enthusiast so a uh, big shout out to him I'm are they already forward. there uh, no they're um coming monday i think yeah i'm uh, yeah i'm looking Fantastic. forward to their food so uh, yeah that's uh, 
maybe maybe we should put on the schedule too like um like a party or something like right so we'll have we'll have the monero 101 workshop so you can put that in the schedule um but maybe we should have like an event like a okay you know we're back hopefully okay like a, oh i lost you yeah uh, uh, for a short moment i think but okay now we're back we could have like a happy hour or i know bitcoin has like bitcoin and coffee in the morning they put on their thing okay. i mean obviously we'll already be yeah. doing that right we have the coffee thing um, um yeah unless we make that the workshops in the morning as we're having coffee but that's a, that's another idea yeah I mean, coffee and monero 101 yeah sure 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 maybe we can like do a little like a cooperation with a, another like a bar or something for a... yeah we could have like a little like a happy hour thing or mm -hmm. maybe we maybe we get yeah. a bunch of uh bunch of joints pre-rolled and we could we could have, we could have, we could have, we have oh, yeah. coffee coffee and joints at the, yeah. the Monero. Uh, oh <laughs> yeah I mean there's a shop that um sells all you uh, all you need about uh, in that category and they have also a lot of like pre-rolled stuff so yeah we could maybe like talk to we them could yeah, yeah we could sell coffee and joints yeah if you could find a good joint manufacturer there somebody who's ro <laughs> who's rolling good ones willing to sell yeah. them for monero we'll purchase them bring them to our stand and have them there for sale yeah. with our with our coffee and that's yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think the idea is it's getting somewhere it's, yeah, it's, you know this is how it comes together my man oh, yeah yeah um i think it's awesome that i met you at MoneroCon too that was fantastic yes it was a so, yeah it was an honor and a ple and pleasure, yeah. Now, was that your first time at MoneroCon? Yeah, yes. I think so, right? Because I don't yeah, yeah, recall yeah. meeting you before. Okay. And I, yeah, I didn't no, no. meet you at Porkfest last year because I wasn't there last year. Mm -hmm. um, so it was the, the first time we met. So what what, yeah. what was your take on MoneroCon? Oh, I loved it. It just um, added to my excitement for for Pork and Porkfest. And yeah, it's just... Yeah, and I think now I have like two yearly um, events I need to attend. So... Uh, with like potentially Monerotopia in the November. Yeah, we gotta get you to Monerotopia, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've already like talked to a, a few friends about that. So maybe, yeah. Which I, reminds me, a lot of people that I spoke to about Monerotopia at Monerocon yeah. that, you know, were local to Europe, they a lot a lot of them expressed like this concern of safety in Mexico. I don't know, I don't know what's going on in the media over there, but like, uh -huh. you know, obviously Mexico, it, like any place, there's there's places that are safe that are not safe. Mm -hmm. Mexico City, I don't know, was like 13 million plus people. I mean, it's a tremendous mega city. Yeah. Um, but they scared the hell out of Europeans with regards to Mexico because everybody yeah, I talked yeah. to is like, oh really? <laughs> like, like yeah, like we go there every year. We go all around yeah. Mexico. I uh, said, so I don't know, I don't know. Is that do you have do you have that personal experience from, um, from being from Europe? Like, what's your what's your take on safety yeah. in mexico i feel like the the yeah, meme is that it's very dangerous yeah i'm a bit skeptical okay. about like the safety aspect about mexico but um a good friend of mine uh, was in mexico last year i think yeah last year and um he said it was really awesome but um it, or as soon as you know which like areas you can like attend or which you should maybe not go to at, at night or something where where was he in mexico do you know uh, I yeah I I don't really remember. Okay. Uh, I mean Mex like Mexico's tremendous, you know. You got yeah, exactly. Mexico City, yeah. you got Guadalajara, you got you know. I mean obviously, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, he, it's vast. Yeah, it, yeah. he he traveled around a bit and stayed in Mexico City for some time, I think. Mm -hmm. And it was like not in Mexico City, but um, I think on the way back to catching his flight, they got like um, stopped by the Mexican cartel and uh really so that was an interesting like um experience but it was all fine and yeah okay so, yeah. well we're, we're gonna be in mexico city which is major metropolis you land in the airport you're okay. all good and then it's in the roma district of mexico mm -hmm. city which is like it's kind of like the neighborhood where ManeroCon was it's okay. got a little bit of a feel like that i, I described it's like it's like the West Village of New York City, okay. but in Mexico, it's like nice. hipsters, nice cafes, <laughs> nice shops. Okay. It's very, it's very gentrified for better or worse. Um, yeah. But there's a yeah. beautiful park. 
you know park there where we have the conference oh really where at the okay. roma yeah so it's basically in the in the center of the roma district mm -hmm. it was a public park and then it got taken over by these hippies like 10 years ago <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> and they never left and they've turned it yeah. into a commune and they have little gardens in there and whatnot and it's like they're kind of their own little oasis so what happens in in huerta roma stays in huerta roma and it's like in the center of the city <laughs> okay. people you, you just come in there and it's very cool because then it's also open mm -hmm. to the public so when we have the marketplace the, the public can come mm -hmm. and check out the marketplace yeah, it's, it's it's knock on wood. It's 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 very very safe. I mean, obviously, if you you could find trouble there easily, but it's oh, yeah. very easy to stay out of trouble in that neighborhood. You stay at an Airbnb hotel. That whole neighborhood is very okay. very safe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I talked to uh, one guy here, and um, he said like that a bunch of libertarians like moved actually to Mexico and Mexico mm. City. I think so. There seems to be like a like building or a certain like community already is being established. So uh, maybe there oh. is some potential for like more people from Monerotopia or uh, in general, like, yeah, please, please get us in touch with them. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Yeah. Get us talking with them. Maybe they could help spread it down there. Yeah. yeah a big part of Monerotopia is we want it to be that not just Monero people that are coming in from all over the world, but we want it to be mm -hmm. open to the public, get news yeah. to just come check it out for free they walk in see the marketplace see big signs of monero next thing mm -hmm. you know they're they're talking to andres about monero and he's yeah. giving them the pitch you know whatever it may be yeah. um yeah. we'll let them That's... access well we'll have talks going on in you know in spanish in addition to to english okay so making it ex very accessible to to locals who want them to come learn about monero yeah. yeah i mean i think that's one of the nice things about monero that you don't really have to shit it really hard just like like let the um, technology speak for itself because it just works pretty good. I mean, okay, if you're a complete noob, then maybe, okay, not so much. I mean, there's still like a little bit of like know-how needed, but in general, if you like can use a PC and your smartphone somewhat, then it pretty much just works. So, you know, it matured exactly. quite a lot over the years. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what what is your Monero story, if you don't mind telling people? I mean, you you, you don't have to, but if you don't mind, like, um, how, how'd you find your way to Monero? Um, good question. Um, I know that I, I think in two thousand ten or eleven, um, I mined some Bitcoin. No, oh, wow. um, but uh, I did like I didn't like um, save them or anything. I just uh yeah it was a, like a little bit of testing with that but then i like com completely forgot about crypto for like a decade and then i think two or three years back i i got introduced or reintroduced to crypto um through um um, um internet community uh called program it's a german hmm. like uh, something like 4chan and okay uh there i got introduced to uh iota i think and then from there on i kind of researched the whole space for like a year and somewhere on the line i stumbled upon um monero i don't i don't know exactly how or through who but yeah I, one of the first like informations about monero was like uh, alex anarcho and the Monero mm. Mumble podcast, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get get Alex and Arco down to Monero Topia. That'd be cool. That'd be yeah, cool. exactly. Yeah, I tried really hard, like getting him uh, him coming here, but he's uh, very afraid about the US and not so really? fond of like. Yeah, yeah, uh, not like. Yeah, it, it's pretty. It's as a as someone who values his privacy quite a lot. Mm. Um, it's it's a strange feeling going to the us like uh yeah i mean alone that uh that the the fact that you uh, um, the access to the us can be denied if you don't show um, them your like smartphone if they ask you or something mm. like this is a bit sketchy but yeah but uh, for now it all like worked out and uh yeah so. Yeah, I mean, you, I just, yeah, I think if you if you keep your phone off 
and mm-hmm. you know it's password locked. I don't. They can't force you to open it. I mean, unless yeah. there's some yeah, they, probable cause. Yeah, I. If you I like um with a. Uh, I believe I don't. Know, yeah, yeah, I gotta look back print. into what they. Yeah, go ahead. yeah. If you have like it secured with a fingerprint, they can like force you to use your finger. But if you have a password, they can force you to put in your password because you mm-hmm. might have just forgot it. Right. Um, but then they can like deny you ent- uh, entrance. I think so. Uh, uh, entry to the US. So <laughs> yeah, it's yeah not so great, but. For now, well, uh, in general, right? I mean, you should try to travel with a clean, you know, a clean phone device yeah. where you just have, you know, maybe a couple of Monero, some spending Monero on it, right? Yeah. Um, no, but I, yeah, no, that's it's it's yeah. terrifying that we're at that point for yeah, sure. Exactly. It's I like mean, you cross you cross through these borders, and it's like all all rights just completely dissipate. Like you're you're in yes. this this area of the world where it's like you have now have zero rights. You're basically like a, a prisoner. Right yeah. in the most obvious way. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a function in uh, like Grafino S um, that got added recently. I called, to show uh, that. Thank oh you yeah, okay. the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the duress um, password, I think. Oh, very like, cool. If you yeah, need, and you're, yeah, if you're like getting uh, get forced to unlock your phone, you can like just type in that pin, and then I think the telephone starts wiping itself and just presents a very clean profile. Um, yeah, but maybe Tux, you want to add to that? It's not, unfortunately, it's not quite that easy. It would be nice. Like a lot of people mentioned, it would be nice if you could just put in a different pin and it opens like a different profile. Unfortunately, Mm it doesn't, doesn't quite do that. It basically deletes some keys that are required to unlock the storage. And when it reboots, it's like in a corrupted state. So I mean, it's still oh, okay. like if you if you're in like in a pinch and you want to wipe your phone, we'll just put in that special pin. In okay, it. okay. But they'll they'll probably know what happened if they they are aware of Graphene OS. Yeah. They'll be able to know that you use that feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. That's the question. If you get like um like for or like they force you to like show your them your phone and you just show them a yeah a very clean like profile of Graphene. Do they like recognize their? Uh, I mean, that's a good profiles? idea though. Like, if they want, yeah, you know, know, just switch to a different profile real quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, mean, I just... definitely understand the fear of coming to the U.S. as a non-U.S. citizen because yeah, you really have like no rights as a non-U.S. citizen. Like, yeah. Pretty much anything goes. Yeah. Exactly. What but talks? What, what, what do you think of me uh, purchasing purchasing the one of these SIM cards here on XMR Bazaar? What do you think of this? You could try Perf- it. Yeah. Personally, I wouldn't purchase physical SIM cards. I just buy yeah. silent dot link eSIMs with Monero. Yes. That's yeah, that's that- the way to go, right? Yeah. It all honestly is the way to go. Then you just uh, top them off online, whatever you want with Monero. Yeah. It's really convenient. I also like hooked up uh, I hooked up myself last year with silent.link and this year I got one for my other German friend. They are really like convenient. It's not so cheap if you need a lot of data. I think it's like fifteen dollars exactly, yeah. around um, for a gigabyte of data, mm. but it's very convenient. Oh, you said fifteen for dollars yeah. for one gig of data? Yeah, oh, it, I guess it, it depends it, on location. Like, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. it's like one dollar for a gigabyte. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so you, you 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 pretty much like use that on a daily? Like you're using your yeah. I mean, I don't need most of the fine. I don't need because I'm usually on Wi-Fi, right? I don't yeah, need it. But yeah, in the yeah. cases that I do, because unfortunately. You can't really get away with not having that sometimes. Then yeah, I have I have Silent Link, and it's great because a lot of people when going to uh, Czech Republic, they were like, "Ah, oh, yeah, my data doesn't work. I get new e- SIM, whatever." But my Silent Link is always on roaming, and it works with over 180 carriers worldwide. So it just immediately connected to whatever the first car- available carrier was um, that it saw, and it worked Fantastic. just fine. Fantastic. It's great I- if you're traveling internationally a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Can highly recommend it. It's yeah, it worked pretty yeah. great, great for like uh, the US. And stuff. I'll, I'll get I'll get it going. I'll get it going. Fantastic, man, uh, Mr. Wonderland. Anything anything else you want to touch upon? You got the stage, man. Uh, I think uh, no. I'm yeah. I'm very glad, Doc, that you are doing like God's work for the Monero community and coming to Porkfest. I'm really excited about this. So. Uh, yeah, just want to thank you and uh, everyone that's participating in the Monero community. 
um yeah like at MoneroCon, i also like sang thank luke because i it's just it's just so awesome i mean i'm kind of a techie person myself but on that level it's just it's just an yeah it's just another level and um yeah really grateful for all the people that are able to do this and decide to do this for monero yeah fantastic yeah. man and uh yeah thank thanks for reaching out and helping out with Porkfest. that's yeah sure, sure. tremendous load off my back i mean yeah obviously <laughs> I'll, I'll be there with you but it's nice it's yeah, nice yeah. to have others just uh help to take the reins so yeah. i greatly appreciate that and look forward to hanging out we're gonna have a blast man uh you'll, oh, you'll yeah. be I don't, you'll be a different individual by the time I see you for a couple of days from now. I'm sure. Yeah, Pork I'm Fest sure. Tr transforms people living oh, out yes. there with the libertarians. Yeah. Um, but very much yeah. look forward to hanging out with you. That's yeah. it's going to be a blast. Exactly. Uh, I, I mean, I'm also like involved with a with a um, German ten side this year because like last year we were two Germans, um, discounting one German that moved or uh, migrated. To the us 15 years ago i think and uh, one girl from switzerland but this year we are like seven people from germany so oh okay yeah, a lot of like uh, also like planning for this one so yeah but, that's yeah. you you're with seven other people that you came with uh six others then okay we're gonna be we're gonna be oh seven podcast. total yeah, yeah yeah have them uh please have them hanging up at the monero hub for oh, sure yeah. that'd be fantastic i'm gonna make sure <laughs> yeah let's yeah. uh so let's figure out so yeah let, let, get the um Get it on the calendar. Mm -hmm. Get the the workshops on the calendar. Let's get yes. the let's get the Monero Hub on the on the official map. And then mm -hmm. if you have any ideas, maybe we could pick one evening, whether it's maybe like Friday, Friday evening or Saturday evening, mm -hmm. or Saturday at some. We have some event, right? It'd be cool okay. if we had something. Okay, yeah. I mean, I don't want to give us too much work, but it's really just putting in the calendar. It's not people could just show up. Like I said, it could be yeah. coffee and joints or something. I don't know. We could, yeah <laughs> yeah it could be something where you know it doesn't have to be as you know yeah yeah like something like a kind of daily workshop for like people just coming and yeah ask questions and if they have problems like if, yeah like a um yeah like a time where they know okay there's going to be someone there right right they can they can ask yeah i guess um, that can be the event that yeah. could be the the whatever the happy hour or whatever yeah but, but also workshop, like the workshop itself yeah, but I also like the idea of a like a yeah an event like yeah getting people together like yeah smoke or drink or whatever like yeah yeah, yeah having yeah. something more like this uh, yeah exactly or more than just a workshop yeah right. it could be great but it, it, it's just happening like that all the time anyway <laughs> it's, yeah. you know, everybody just it's one big yeah, exactly. party it's one large exactly. party at Fork Fest, which is awesome yeah true. True. Okay. All right, Mr. Wonderland. Yeah. Greatly Thanks. appreciate your time making yeah. this happen, figuring out the are you on Starlink right now? No. You're yeah, just yeah. In the... I, I'm on Starlink right now, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found some uh someone here with uh Starlink and he was kind mm. enough to let me use it. And also like sit in his uh front porch and uh, yeah, on his rocking chair. Having <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> because it was a, it was it's pretty nice weather out outside today, as you maybe can see in the background. Um but it's a little bit windy, so I was afraid of uh, of the sound. But I think it hopefully worked out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, we got to figure that out for what we'll try to stream a show there on Saturday okay. morning at our normal mm -hmm. time. Oh yeah. Maybe we could maybe we could use somebody's Starlink. Yeah, sure. Know, uh, if we could, yeah, if we could sure. I'm gonna make sure to hook you up. Awesome, man. Yeah. Okay. I, last year there were multiple people with like Starlink, so I'm I'm pretty sure we might be able to find one fantastic yeah i know uh dragon x is there too uh that guy uh dan from okay. Aku, uh acapulco oh yeah uh, okay. an arcapulco yeah he'll, he'll be there he has a starlink as well okay, cool. um all right buddy yeah stick okay, around if yeah. you like we'll we'll move to cool. tux you want to move to viewers on stage we'll get if anybody else wants to jump up chat and then we'll oh, I was gonna run, run the news. news you want to run the news all right run the yep. news Mr. Wonderland, thank you so much, man. I'll see you in a couple yeah, of days. Yeah. We'll continue to coordinate. Anybody who wants to help out with Porkfest, please jump into the Telegram that we have set. The I don't know what the the link is. I can try to throw it in the chat. I'll try to throw in the it in the description. Chat right now. It's in the description. Uh, if you're going to Porkfest and you want to help out with Monero adoption, jump into that Telegram chat. Also, 
Yeah, I might like print a QR code for like a simple X in invitation link. That, so if people have problems and there's nobody there at the Monero 10, they can just scan this and contact me directly through simple X. Beautiful. But also Beautiful. The idea. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank Very you. cool, man. That would be a good, you know, you could even do a presentation on uh, simple X. I don't know if that's something that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll I already out. like talked to a few other techie persons. Uh, one is like setting up a little mesh network around here mm -hmm. um, to provide like somewhat of an internet because like uh, for now the connection is pretty good with like smartphones. Uh, but as soon as there are I don't, I don't know a few hundred people here, it's yeah, it's pretty garbage. And, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. All right. Work. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, man. Look Thanks forward to seeing you.